equal 4x squared minus 8x minus 17. So first thing we know we solve this equals zero. All right, so first thing we're solving is 25 And I don't like to write d to y by d squared. I like to write y double prime minus 20 y prime plus four y. We're solving this first equals zero. We'll first solve the homogeneous part of the equation. And then from that, we need to, whoa, mouse is really running today. And so then now from this now, we need to just solve this part right here. We're gonna solve the auxiliary equation for that part. So we're solving. 25 u squared, I like to use the letter u, you can use m if you want. 25 u squared minus 20 u plus four equal zero. By solving this now, let's hope it factorize smoothly. So we're gonna factorize it. Just hope it factorize smooth, let's hope. So 25 u square is look like five. Is that five u? I'm just making sure five u. I hope five u. Signs are the same, both of them negative. Let me see two and two. Yes. All right. So this is working out. Two and two signs are the same, both of them negative minus minus. So this works out to be u is equal to two over five. Since u is two over five, then that allows us to find our complementary function. So since we get u is two over five, which is one root or complementary function is going to be equal to y, Complementary function yc is equal to e to the two over five times x, two over five times x. And this is multiplied by, don't like how that bracket looks. This is now multiplied by, what are we multiplying this by? a plus bx. Or some people might, might say, ax plus b, it does matter, a plus bx. This is what we get for a complementary function. Easy, soft. Now, what we need to do now is find our particular integral. So let's go ahead and find our particular integral. So we start off with this part right here, which is 25 y double prime minus 20 y prime plus four y equals zero. And we notice that we have a quadratic so our complementary function will be a quadratic. 4x squared minus 8x minus 70. The complementary function will be a quadratic. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, 25. So, so it is 25 y double prime minus 20 y prime and I think that was plus 4 equals 0 equal 4x square sorry 4x square it was 4x square plus something 4x square minus 8x minus 70 4x square minus 8x minus 70 this is what we had so now our particular integral will be in the form of a quadratic. So we can just put that down, that we know that our yp is gonna be a quadratic. Since it's a quadratic, I'm gonna use px squared. It don't matter which constant it is. I'm gonna use px squared plus qx plus r, this is my quadratic. And so if I differentiate this quadratic y prime, yp prime 
equal to this is now 2px i differentiate yp with respect to x plus q then the second derivative is going to be yp prime prime and that is going to be equal to i differentiate 2px with respect to x and that will give me 2p now that I get this, I get yp, yp prime, and yp prime prime. I'm going to plug these in for y double prime, y prime, and of course, this was y plus 4y. So I'm going to plug them in here. So plugging them in there now, what I'm going to get is this will work out to be 25. That will then give me 25 y double prime, which is 2p. Then I have minus 20 times y prime. y prime is 2px plus q. That's what I get, 2px plus q. Then you're going to have plus 4 times y, where y is px squared plus qx plus r. That's px squared plus qx plus r. Now we know this is of course equal to 4x squared minus 8x minus 70. 4x squared minus 8x minus 70. That's what we get. Nice and easy. So, so let's go ahead and simplify this and see what we are getting. This is looking beautiful. Yeah, my. Nice. So 25 times 2p, we know we get 50p. Then we get 20 times 2p, we know that will be minus 40px. Then 20 times q, that's minus 20q. Then we're getting, this is now four times px squared. That is now four px squared. All right, and this is now plus, that looks like four qxr, four qxr. And then four times r is plus four. And this is of course just equal to four x squared minus eight x minus 70. I know what you're saying. Second order differential equation seems like a lot of work, but it, it's not. It's, it's really nice. Oops, slipped right there. Minus, don't like all this. Need a little bit more space to get this perfect. Minus 70. Yeah. So now that we have this now, what we have to do now is we have to equate x square parts so see a 4x square here, see a 4px square here. So we're going to equate those parts, equating x squares. So this is equating x square. What we're observing by equating the x squares, we get 4p x square. This don't look like a p, let's fix it. 4p u. Don't like all these looks so far. 4px squared, and that is equal to 4x squared. So from that much, we can tell that p equal 1. Clearly, in order for this to be equal, if you divide both sides by 4x squared, we can definitely see that p equal 1. So yep, p equal 1 from this side. Because then this cancel this to be 1 x square cancel x square four cancel four so p equal one now that we know p equal one let's go ahead and equate x terms i'll underline x terms in blue minus 40 px plus 4 qxr equal negative 8x so equating x what we're getting is minus 40 minus 40 px and that looks like plus 4 q x r is equal to negative 8 x 
So if we divide through by x, what we get is minus 40 p plus dividing through by x. Where is this? Why is this r here? Let me see. Four times, or oh, this should have just been four qx and then four r. So I see what's good. It should have been four r. There should have been no r right here. So in here should have, in here, go to select. It should have no r right here. So we should have minus 40 P plus, going down, plus that is now 4 Q equal negative eight. If you want, you can then divide two by four to get minus 10, minus 10 P plus, that's now Q is equal to divide two by four, negative two. But then P is what? P is one, so you're getting minus 10 plus Q equal negative two. And so I bring over the negative 10 over here and so Q equal 10 minus two, which is eight. So that is Q, Q equal eight. Nice. Then we can equate our constants now. I'll underline the constants then in brown. And so this is 50P minus 20Q plus 4R. This is not brown, I want brown. Fifty P in brown minus twenty Q plus four R equal negative seventy. So equating our constants, as you can see, equating the constants, what we're going to be getting by equating the constants is fifty P minus twenty Q. That's fifty P minus twenty Q. This look like plus 4r, and that's equal to negative 70. So then what we're going to get now is we know that p is p is 1, minus 20, q is 8. Then we have plus 4r, that's equal to negative 70. So now just simplify that, 50 minus 20 times 8, that's negative 110, negative 110 plus 4R is equal to negative 70. So bringing over negative 110 over here, we get 4R equal negative 70 plus 110, which is 40, and so R equal 10. Yes, we're done. Well, not quite finished, we're almost finished. Now that we get P, Q, and R, then that means our particular integral, Y, P, is going to be equal to P, X square. P is one, so it's just X square. And then that is plus Q, X, which is plus eight X plus 10. This is our particular solution, X square plus eight X plus 10. So now we can write down our general solution. So now we can write down our general solution. And we know our general solution is y. And y is equal to the complementary function plus the particular integral. So writing that down, the general solution is now going to be equal to y is equal to the complementary function, which was e to the two over five x times times a plus bx plus your plus your particular integral and I said the particular integral was x squared. This was x squared plus eight x plus ten x squared plus 8x plus 10. 
this was our solution nice and easy and soft yeah man no issues right here this was our particular integral complementary function put together give you the general solution beautiful soft